I, on the other hand, am an ass. Let it be known that she said that I am an ass. Though it not be on record, I am an ass. It's the best line. Much ado about nothing, Shakespeare. Ha. Hey, if Shakespeare says it, it's got to be true. Must be good. Got to be true. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping in strike. Oh. Gee. Wouldn't that have been funny if I had accidentally connected? Hey, remember that story you told me about it not playing, have been funny. playing yes. ouch? Yes. Yes. My dad tells this story about playing ouch, right? You know ouch, where you hit. Go ahead. And the first one to say ouch loses. Okay, laugh. <laughs> he didn't say enough, though. So what he does is he comes up and hauls off and <laughs> knocks the guy out. I didn't knock him it out. It was an accident, I swear. Nobody ever wanted to play ouch with him again. It was the end of the game. That was the end of that game, that's for sure. That was the end of that guy. was lights out. Done. Enough. Time out. You're through. It's over. Bam. Trademark. Emerald Lagasse, 1994. We're back with another episode of Shrink My Folks. It's my pop. He's shrinking. I'm your trainer, David Norton. I'm excited to be with you today. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. If you're around on the road and you don't have me, you might need to go ahead and pick up a DVD. A DVD. A DVD. So, one of the best DVDs out there, in my opinion, is P90X2. You can get it at the link below from my wife. She's a Team Beachbody coach. We're going to show you, it's a little bit of a modified base and back, but we're going to show you some fun moves. So, nobody has a patent or a trademark on human movement. You cannot copyright human movement. The term base and back, that's copyrighted. This. This is just us working out. So you can do this at home. You don't have to buy the DVDs, but I do recommend that you buy the DVDs. Why? Because it gives you a whole system. We're giving you a whole system, but here's something you can do at home. Enough about that. Let's get into the workout. Are you ready? Why don't we talk about BioHit? Why don't we talk about BioHit? We can talk about BioHit, but, but today we're not doing BioHit. Today we're doing Back. We're doing, we're doing P90X. Oh my goodness. So, we're going to start, grab a ball. <laughs> Go grab a ball. This man. Okay, I got a ball. You notice he gets the big ball? He's like, hey, I'm going to get a big ball. All righty. Are you ready? Hey, this is easy. This okay. is easy. Just hold the ball out in front of you. Just hold the ball out in Tighten front of you. Tighten your core. Tighten my twist. core. And twist. 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 Give yourself a little space so you don't run into me. Woo. 20 times. Are you counting? No. 9, 3, ten, 11. <laughs> <laughs> it seems kind of silly. What are we warming up here? Our shoulders, our arms, our core, our midsection. That seems pretty good. All right, right into squats. Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Keep those knees. Tracking over your ankles. There you go. Sit back into that chair. Get nice and low. Arms are straight. We're challenging our shoulders here. Five more. Five. Good. Get nice and low. Four. Good. Arms are up as high as you can without pain. Three. Good. Two more. Two. And one. Woo, those feel nice. All right. Back into lunges. Back lunge. One. Alternating legs. Two. I want that knee to barely tap the floor, like one hair on your knee touches the floor. Five, good. Six, yep. Challenging our balance, challenging our core, warming up the arms. Good. Eight, come on. Two more. And ten. Excelente. Excelente. What? Side stretch. Now these I don't like very much in P90X, but I'm going to show you anyway. So we're just going to stretch it up to the side, push our hip in the opposite direction. Breathing, straighten that leg, push up, come on, five more, really push, get those feet side by side, I don't want them all catty, catty corner, all right, really stretching this arm straight up, there you go, and stretching all along here, good, stretch it up, last one, excelente, now we just do a little twisty twisty, put it on the shelf, take it off the shelf. Do a little lunge. Get your feet really wide. A little lunge to the side. Drop that left knee down. 
Drop that left knee down. There you go. Four, five, six. Other side. Do it. Other side. Drop it down to the other side. No, drop it down to the floor. Let's see. Drop it down there and then go up. Nope. Other <laughs> side. Other side. Drop it down here. Bend that right knee. Yeah. Bend that right knee. Okay. Wider That's grip. Come on. Go. Go. That's get up. Knee. Come on. Oh, there we go. Don't think about it. Just hey. move. I got to think about it so I get my. Get your feet wider right. apart. Feet wider. There you go. All right. Good. How many is that? Four. Uh. Five. Come on. Straight arms. Relax your shoulders. Six. Okay. Every time you do this, I see you hunching your shoulders up. I yeah. don't want you to do that. I want you to bring your shoulders down. All right. Good. Okay. That's enough. Put your ball away. Put my ball away. Put your ball away. Excellent. Now we go into a world's greatest stretch is what Tony calls it. It's just a groin stretch. Mm. Here we go. Get down. Nice and low, stretch out the groin. Now, put one hand up to the ceiling. Breathe, drop down. Other hand up to the ceiling. Breathe, drop down. Foot comes up, little frog stretch in the middle. Get down like this. Get down lower, heels on the ground. Heels on the ground, there you go. Other foot goes back. Feet are aligned, inside hand goes up. Inside hand goes up. Inside hand goes up. Straighten that back leg. Other leg goes, other hand goes up. Straighten that back leg. Froggy stretch, do it again. Come on, get your heels down, feet wider apart. All right, bring this, bring this heel out, bring this knee in. There you go. Now really think about dropping your shoulders, relaxing this, and twist it up. Okay, come on down, other side. Come on up now. Really open that chest to the sky. Now exhale. And now your, your hip flexor is tight, so you're trying to turn your body out. I want you to keep yeah. it in. Okay, next one. Go. Keep it going. Here we go. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. You look good. <laughs> keep it up. No, you're looking great. Heels on the floor. Heels on the floor. Get your feet all the way up to your hands. That foot should be right next to your palm. Get that foot right here. Come on. <laughs> Don't walk this leg up. He's like, well, you want to be closer? Okay, we'll bring everything closer. <laughs> One hand up. Get that palm flat on the floor. There you go. Open it up. Relaxing your neck. Scapular <laughs> retraction. One more. There you go. Good frog squat. All right. Turn. Good. Opening it up. Other side. That one's hard, isn't it? Okay, yep. back to the frog squat. Now, we're just going to do a little walk down into plank. Come on, walk down here with me. Get into plank, get into plank. Now, do not put your knees out. Keep your legs as straight as you can. Walk your feet up to your hands. Come up to flat back. Come on, walk them up, walk them up, walk them up, walk them up, walk them up. I sound like Fozzie Bear. And back down. <laughs> walk them all, walk them all, walk them all, walk them all. Plank, come on. Don't, don't flare those knees out. Push those knees up in the back of your knees. Okay, we're just gonna walk backwards this time. This will be easier for you. Okay, come up to flat back. Hands on your shins, straighten your legs. Okay, flatten back. Now go back down. Walk your feet backwards this time. This is going to be weird. You didn't see this in P90X. Now walk your feet, hands back to your feet. Come on, flat back. Keep up with me. Come on, man. Good, good, good. Back down. Feel that stretch. Mmm. Feet up to your hands. Don't let those knees flare out. And one more time. Hands back down. Walk them out forward. Ugh. Feet up to your hands. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? And nice slowly stretch. roll up. All right. Come on back here. Lay on the floor. Chin on the floor. Now, what you're going to do, watch me once. Watch me once. You're going to lift your legs as high as you can, keeping your shoulders on the floor. Lift it up and over. Down. Up. Over. Keeping your shoulders on the floor, your chin on the floor. So straight up first, straight up. Hey, straight up first. There you go, higher. And then roll it over. Try to keep your shoulders on the floor. 
Your shoulder has to be touching the floor. Here. Okay, other side. Other side. Other side. Other leg. Other leg. <laughs> lift it up. First up. <coughs> Do not lift that shoulder off the ground. Keep up. Okay, other leg up. <coughs> Bring it across. Shoulder stays on the floor. There you go. And up. Don't squeeze your knees together. There you go. There you go. Good. We're getting that mobility in the lower back. We're not going to cheat to go further until we can go further. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. We're never going to cheat it. Good. One more. One more the other side. <coughs> Breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Come on up. Good work. Monsieur. Monsieur. Monsignor. Okay, we're just going to do a little foam rolling. We're going to do a lot of pull-ups today. So we're going to roll our upper back. I was grabbing this for you. Oh, I was grabbing this one for you. We're good. Well, thank you, Cancer. Thank you. Well, thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's very, very, very helpful. I, I, I couldn't have done it without you. All right, let's roll those shoulders out. You, let's start with your worst spot. Where's that? My upper back. I know. Here it is, right here. Just work on that. Oh, that feels good. I was doing metal work yesterday. Oh, so that feels really, really nice. We're only going to do a couple minutes here. Oh, you feel that pop, pop, pop all the way down. Really get into those shoulders, opening up. What I want you to be able to do today is inhibit your trapezius up here so that you can actually get some scapular retraction. Because if you inhibit, if you turn off this muscle that's pulling your shoulders up into your ears, then you're going to be able to pull your shoulders back and down, which is what I want you to see you do. What I want to see you do. Easy for me to say, not really. <laughs> that's why I had to repeat it twice. Scapular retraction. All right, roll over. Roll over and get that right behind your shoulder Ow. into your lat. How's that feel? Ow. I bet that feels pretty good. Yeah, that feels yeah. something else. Let's just work that out for a little bit. Uh. Find that spot. Uh. Yeah, pull that down. Owie. You got a little hairy, <laughs> little hairy chin sticking out there. All right, find that spot. My rear delts are feeling it today. How about you? Yep. Okay, I'm going to lengthen my arm now. Oh. Ow. How does that? Oh. Doesn't that make it a little yummier? <laughs> just makes it a bit yummier. <laughs> Can we say yummier? Is that a word? I don't uh, know. Sharon, the biggest loser, Utah. Oh, what does she say? Gooder? She says gooder or something. Oh, like she's funny. Oh, okay. Uh. Let's get the other side. Ooh. Uh. Mm. She's. Funny. I like to start on the lat shoulder connectivity, oh. and then just sort of let it roll from there. Ooh, I got a little. Hairy chin sticking out. You don't want to see my belly button today. It's not so pretty. Yeah, you can do your legs too if you want at home. We're working legs today, but we're more concerned about scapular retraction. Mm-hmm. This feels nice, doesn't it? I could stay here all day. What about you, Pop? Okay, straighten that arm. Get down into it. Get down on it. Boop, 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 boop that uh <laughs> i don't know what that was nice sore spot there nice sore spot there yeah. okay great you know my other sore spot what's that is is the oh. chest joint chest my chesticles <coughs> did i say chesticles yes <laughs> so what i like to do is get it at a little 45 degree angle get my <laughs> arm up and get that spot between my chest and my delt and work on my front delt a little bit mm. and we'll end with this so this will be the last one it's like it's like hugging your foam roller. You Aww. love it. Oh, I love my foam roller. I Should I it. name it? Bob. Bob. His name is Bob. I don't want to hug Bob. It's already named. Fall <laughs> in love with your Bob. <laughs> I don't want to fall in love with my Bob. Good grief. What's your brother's name? <laughs> that's, yes, you that's love your brother. My brother's name. Oh. No. Oh. But that front delt. Him. What? I don't want to hug him. You don't want to hug your brother? No. Why not? He's nice. He's very lovable. <laughs> yes, he is. He's soft and squishy. Actually, I don't know that. He might be hard as a rock. <laughs> mm. In pretty bad shape. 
Is he? Yeah. Poor bones, Uncle Bob. His bones are deteriorating and his vertebrae are fusing. Aw. Is he still getting out on the boat? Can't. He can't even fish hardly anymore. No! His arm is... His shoulder is given... Has deteriorated out of I hate age. Age and injury. That's the only two things. But you can't stop. Well, you can help by making your body durable and it will age more slowly and it will be less likely to get injured, but you can't always control every situation. You may get in a car accident or fall off a roof and that's it for you. He's done well over the years, he's, but he's getting, it's getting bad now. But enough about that, we're talking about getting strong today. I'm going to get strong. I just had a little sense of my own mortality there. I don't like to think about that. I like to think that I am unbreakable, immortal, strong. I've learned over the years, however, if I don't protect my body, it will get broken. And I will have to take lots and lots of time to fix it. Fortunately, we have the tools. So how does exercise and bone density and bone strength play? Yeah, Is the more you exercise, you actually increase your bone density. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. When you put stress on your uh, muscles and your bones, they respond by getting stronger. Your entire system responds by getting harder and stronger. So you can stave off osteoporosis? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. The goal here is to maintain youth. And as any doctor will tell you, if they're worth their salt, eating right and working out is the fountain of youth. Okay, Pop, you love this one. We're going to lay on the foam roller. We're going to put it right okay. on our tailbone, and okay. then we're going to lay back on it. Okay. Now we're going to pelvic tilt just a little bit up so our mid-back sits on it as well. Okay, so pelvic tilt just a little bit up. Your, your tailbone stays on it, but you want your mid-back. So instead of having the arch, now your hands come up like, don't shoot me. And you push them straight up in the air until they're straight. And you, now here's where you can just relax. You're trembling. You don't need to. Just relax and let them fall. And then slide them down. And we're just going to go up and down five times. Here we go. One. We're breathing. Calm. Calm in the storm. Oh. Hey, Pop. You're going to be Pop You Lar. That should be your hip hop name. Pop, Pop, Pop. Pop You Lar. Right, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I was with a friend this weekend. Oh, yeah? He's lost. One inch in height. Whoa. That's not cool. How He's do I keep from getting shorter, Dave? Uh, keep your back strong. Yeah. Keep your body strong. And when you get adhesions and when you get these compensations that start the cumulative injury cycle, so when you have this comp compensation in your shoulder, you are bound to continually get injured over and over and over again. Yeah. So if we can halt your compensations, okay, if we can get these to loosen up again and halt those compensations, then we're going to halt the cumulative injury cycle and you're going to get better and you're going to stay stronger and you're going to be able to lengthen and strengthen the muscles around your spine so that your spine stays supported and we're going to stress our mus skeletal musculoskeletal system. Musculoskeletal system. I can't talk today. We're going to stress our muscles and our skeleton, our bones, every single day. And as we stress them in the proper form and in the proper manner, they're going to get stronger. They're going to respond to that stress by getting stronger. And the key here is doing it every day with proper form and then stretching, strengthening, lengthening, and you stay younger. You're already getting younger. I think it's an amazing thing. So we're going to start with you a little... You can't get younger. You, you're, you can't get chronologically younger. <laughs> but you can get... But you can get biologically, biologically younger. Biologically younger, okay. And the real test of age is biologic, ah. not chronologic. Come over here. So I'm just a kid. Yeah. Oh. Get on your pull-up bar. 
Okay. We're going to swing a camera around because we're going to be spending a lot of time on the pull-up bars today. What I want you to start with is scapular retraction. So get your arms nice and wide. Bring your shoulders up by your ears. I know how much you love to do that. That's how you live your life is your shoulders up by your ears. Now, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your arms straight and draw your shoulder blades down. So what I want you to think about, I want your feet off the ground. What I want you to think about is lifting your body off the ground. Your chin is up and your shoulders come down. This, this whole complex gets pulled down with your lat. So pull, breathe, chin okay. up, breathe, chin up, chin up, thank you. And then tuck those shoulder blades into your back pocket. Okay, hop down for a second. This is what it looks like, okay? So you're up, you don't bend your arms, right? Just bring your chest up and your shoulders back and down. Do that five times and then we'll get into the workout. This isn't even the workout. This isn't the workout. Mm -mm. This is just training our body what to do. There you go. Do that again. Breathe. Chin up. Chin up. Breathe. And do it again. There you go. Do it again. Three more. Hold it at the top. Up. Higher. Okay. Wow, your left shoulder is a little weak. Okay, get up. Breathe. Breathe at the top. Good. One more. Excellent. Here we go. We're into the workout. Now, we are doing 10 exercises, okay? 10 exercises and then 10 exercises again. First exercise. Where'd you go? Get back over there. Right here. <laughs> I don't understand this guy. You can't keep him in his spot. Nobody puts Mikey in a corner. Give me your max rep pull-ups. No kipping. Max rep pull-ups, good scapular retraction. Here we go. Three, two, one, up. I can't, I can't even lift myself you anymore. You can't do any today? Come on, you got one. Come on, you got one. I bet you got one more like that. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you got two more like that. Come on, get up. Get Why up. can't I lift myself anymore? Get up, because we haven't been practicing. Breathe. <laughs> one more. Come on. Good. Good, that's a I good have start. Done, I have just... It's because you've been doing the bandy band No thing. workout at all. I Stay there. What? Talk. I say with no workout at all, I've, I should be able to just do three or four pull-ups. You should be. Without any issues. Yeah. And I can't hardly lift myself right now. What is that? Uh, you've been being a wimp and using these. I, got t I did the same thing when I was using too much assistance. You just got weak. Because you're using assistance too much. A lot of it's in your brain, too. Where's my other clip? I don't know. We've got to move faster, though. That's all I know. All right. Ten more. Let's go. Out. Don't be careful with that thing. Jeez. Come on. Ten more with assistance. Here we go. Okay. <coughs> all the way down, all the way up. Here we go. Core is drawn into your spine. Feet are pushing sideways. Don't swing around. Really control yourself. Hey, control yourself. You got all this extra assistance. Control yourself. Are you counting? Six. Straighten your arms. Straighten your arms. Go. Seven. Scapular retraction. Give me perfect form with all that assistance. Eight. Eight. It's like you're hardly even pulling. Come on. Nine. Get your elbows down to your side. Come on. Ten. Good. Just carefully step out. Excellent. 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 Okay, we're going to breathe for 20 seconds. Now. You're going to stand right here on this mat. Okay, 20 seconds, I'm going to get a drink. Okay, this is called frog squats, all right? So all we're going to do is go down, up, down, up. Tap the floor, hands come up, and feet are wide. That's why it's called a frog squat. Get into it. Here we go, 25 times. Frog squats, nice and wide. Tap the floor, tap the floor, jump up, squeeze your glutes at the top. Land, flat foot. Land on your whole foot, come on. Touch the floor, up. Touch the floor, up, come on, faster, five, come on, six, land soft, seven, eight, land soft, nine, wider feet, ten, wider feet, eleven, there you go, twelve, squeeze your glutes at the top, thirteen, come on, faster, come on, fourteen, come on, pick it up, fifteen, open up that chest at the top, sixteen, there you go, seventeen, come on, jump higher, eighteen, jump higher, go down and get up, go down lower, get down lower, get your butt down, nineteen, Five more, butt down. Get your butt down. There you go, up. Come on, four more, three. Come on, get your butt down. Two, butt down. Two more, go. 
Come on, get your butt down, lower. There you go, those are good. Come on, now chest up, squeeze the glutes at the top. Okay, good. Okay, rest it out, rest it out. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. You like those? Uh. Those are fun, huh? 25, 25, that's it, 25. All right, you good? Yeah. You good? All right, good. Next one, wide leg, close grip, chin-ups. Now, what your goal here is to get your hands close, palms facing you, legs are wide, and you chin up. Okay? We're resting. Are you going to use that? Yeah. Okay. Can I use that? Mm -hmm. I want you to step out here. It's going to give you a lot of assistance. Step out wide. Now I want you to keep pushing your feet apart. Reach up, grab underhand, underhand. Yep, these are chin-ups. All right, give me 10, 10. Come on, straighten your arms at the bottom. Nine, eight. Okay, relax and pull, but pull with your shoulders. Pull that bar to your chest. There you go. Give me that full range of motion. Good. Seven, full range of motion, come on. Eight, come on, get up. Nine, one more, come on. All the way to your chest this time. Perfect form, last one, best one, good. Come on down, slowly get out. Slowly and carefully get out of it. All right, we're gonna rest. We're gonna have like long rest breaks between these, maybe 30 whole seconds, because we're using this big muscle, our lats. It's a big muscle, it's designed to lift your entire body weight and maybe more off the ground. That's the key. So we need to rest it. Come back over to the mat. What you're gonna do, it's called a chair jump. It looks like this. We go down and up, down and up, down and up, 25 times. You good with those? On these, proper form. Keep your feet like they're on skis. We squat down, we sit down like we're sitting in a chair, hands are way up high, we push them back and, and jump straight up, pointing our toes and squeezing our glutes, 25 times, go. One, swing those arms behind you. Two, three, there you go. Four, hey, feet, five, feet, skis, six, keep going. Nope, hands up, hands up, seven, chest up, eight, arms up, chest up, come on, nine, come on, 10 more, come on, come on, come on, come on, don't stop, there's no breaks in these, 10, get down, down and up, down and up, seven, come on, down and up, six, come on, down and up, chest up when you go down, chest up, arms up, go, 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 go. Five, good job. Four, you're doing great, you're looking good. Get that butt down, get those feet parallel. Look at your feet, look at your feet. Get them right, get them closer together. Come on, five more with me, here we go. One, two, come on, three, four, five. Come on, do the last one, come on. Squat down and up. Whatever, I'll, I'll give you that one. Good job, grab a drink of water. Rest it out. Here we go. Chair jumps, chair jumps. All right, now we're gonna do chin pulls. Chin ups, pull ups, chin ups, pull ups. Two chin ups, two pull ups. Six times. Yeah, we got this. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Talk to me, how you feeling? I'm gonna get a little drink of water. Tell me how you're feeling. I get a little chest cold this weekend. And oh, this is a great thing for a chest cold. And my chest is burning. Yep. We're going to super oxygenate your lungs. And then guess what? You have all those great nutrients going into your lungs, that chest cold. <coughs> no, not anymore. <sighs> nice. Dr. David in the house. Dr. David in the house. All right. 10 seconds. And then we're doing chin ups, pull ups. So here's what it looks like. Come in. Two chin-ups, come down, two pull-ups. That's it. I, wanted, I want you to do like the elbow in pull-ups, okay? So elbow in, like this. Yeah. And then chin-up, same thing. All right, breathing. Hey, use your nose. That's what it's there for. Oxygen. Ah, feels nice. All right, good. Oh, you're looking good today. You're looking strong, my friend. All right. One, two, one. 
Breathing. Relax your face, relax your mouth. Okay, all the way to the bottom, switch. One, two. One, two. I'm gonna get in on this action. I love these chin pulls. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Why are you stopping? I like switching at the top, that's fine. Go, don't stop, oh, come on. Oh, we're gonna do more of these? Did you do 12? Well, I didn't know 12. What? Did I hear 12? Two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. How many are you on? Is that eight? Hey, get up. Turn, pull, one, two. Core is tight, navel drawn to the spine. Good, turn, go. Turn and go, turn and go, turn and go. Come on, one, get up. Do the work. Come on, you gotta get up. That last little bit is the part where you actually get to do the work. I wanna see it, okay? What are you doing right now? Resting. What are you doing? Do not Resting. step off of that thing. Come on. Oh, it's the last one. One. <laughs> and up. All the way up, all the way up. Come on, get up. G give me a good one. You gotta finish up with a good one. Cause you gotta ingrain in your body a good one. So you can do a chin up if you want or a pull up if you want. Okay, all the way to your chest. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, see, you can do it. You gotta put it in your brain that you can do it and then your body will do it. Put it in your brain and get through the work. You'll do it every time. Don't worry, your body or your brain can overcome your body. I guarantee it. Here we go. Rest it out, come stand on the mat. Next one. Oh, these are fun. I'm not gonna make you do these with the weight. I'm gonna get sideways, show you how it's done. Watch me. So, we're gonna go into a little lunge, mm -hmm. right? So I want 90 degrees here and 90 degrees on the back leg. Okay. This thigh should be straight up and down. This calf should be straight up and down, okay? Hands come up. When we go up, hands go up. Okay? 20 times. Ready, go. Now when we go up, hands go up. So hands are always here. Look at me, hands are always here. When you jump up, your hands go up in the air. Ready, go. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Right here. Jump, 90, 90, 90, 90. Two, come on, do it. Three, hands go up. Four, five, come on, faster. Come on, finish it, six, come on, seven. Come on, eight, nine, good, 10. Look at you, go, 10 more, 10 more, quick, 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 get them done, get them done, you can do it, you can do it, come on. Up, 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 bigger, bigger lunge. Up, good, bigger lunge, eight. Seven, six, come on, five, bigger lunge, four, bend those knees, three, two, one, come on, bend those knees, three, two, one, go, 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 don't stop, you're not getting the benefit. Three, bend the knees, two, one, now, give me one slow, good lunge. So your body knows what it's supposed to feel like, okay? Get the 90-90, get your chest up, get off your, get off your leg, put your hands straight up in the air, okay, drop this knee to the floor, and then come on up, straight up, good, done. Whew. Those are nice, huh? Uh -huh. Hey, guess what? <sighs> You're halfway. <sighs> halfway through the first round. How do you feel? <sighs> this is not easy. This is not easy, people. But guess what? The more you do it, the easier it gets, the faster you can go, and you can really push yourself to that become that elite athlete that you want to be. You want to be an elite athlete? Hey, even if you never compete, it's a beautiful thing to be able to get out there run up a hill, run a, you know, chase your grandkids around the park without ever getting tired, without getting sore, and without getting, most importantly, injured. You don't want to get injured at this age. It can set you back months. So the key to not getting injured is to work hard in this controlled environment in the gym so that when you go out there into the real world, your body is durable, strong, and ready to take on any challenge you can throw at it. Here we go. All right, you ready? You ready for this? Yeah. V pull-ups. V pull-ups are beautiful. So all you're gonna do is get really wide, which I know you hate, but we're gonna do it anyway because you need to do it. We're gonna get really wide, and then you're gonna go up, up, up. Okay? Just like that. Nothing to it. Come on now. You are a young man. You are a young 
Beautiful man. Get your hands wider. There we go. Now, chin up. Yep. Pull yourself up. Hey, do some work. Do some work. You're not just relying on the band. Do some work. Get your hand all the way to your chin and really pull. What is that look? Come on, do some work. Let's go. More. Come on. This is why you can't do pull-ups because you're not doing that last little bit. Get that last little bit when you've got the assistance and you'll be able to do pull-ups when you don't have the assistance. Come on, five more. Go. Five. Come on, all the way up. Four. Good. Come on, up. Higher. Three. Come on, higher. Nope. What? Two more all the way to your hand. Two more all the way to your hand. Come on, you got this. You got this. This is nothing. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Come on. Come on. Come on, Gunther. There you go. Look. Hey, look at that. Hey, he's got it in him. It's up here. This is the problem today. This is the problem. This is your problem today. It's in here. Yeah. It's in here. But you're doing great. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of what you're accomplishing today. Okay? You're changing your life. Change your body, change your life. All right, these are fun. All you're gonna do, a little squat, and then switch, and then squat. So it's like a half squat, and then a turn, okay? Half squat, twist, wide legs, surfer spins, spot. Take a look at that red thing right there. Keep your eyes on it as you turn. Ready, go. There you go, up. Hey, a little bit. When I say half squat, that doesn't mean half your normal squat. That means get down. Come on. You can do it on the mat. It might be nicer. Do it on the mat. Come on. Ten more. Here we go. Nice wide feet. Twist. Hey, spot the corner. Spot the corner of the room. Twist. And keep your eyes on that corner. There you go. Keep your eyes on that corner. You're going to get dizzy. Get your arms out to the side. You're surfing. Come on. Come on. Five more. Spot the corner of the room. You're going to get dizzy. Three, two, one. Good. Those are easy, huh? Those are just fun. Those are just like a nice way to kind of get it done. Get it done. Get it done. All right. Get some water. We're resting it out between sets. We're getting it done. We're finishing. Lickety split. Lickety banana split. Oh, that water, that tastes so good. Learn to love water. Learn to love water. Your body, you've heard this before, is like 90% water, okay? You got to love water. You got to hydrate all the time. You got to be drinking your weight in ounces every day. What? I've never heard that before. Drink your weight in ounces every day. So if you weigh 180 pounds, drink 180 Ounces of water a day. You're going to be floating. Your eye, you're going to be peeing all the time. It's beautiful. It's flushing out your system. It's incredible. Give it a shot. See if you can do it. Message me if you do. Let me know what your experience is. Eight to ten glasses of water. Screw that. So you got to drink for hydration. So if I go to Death Valley, yep. don't take any water and take a ten-mile hike, yep. I'm going to lose lots of weight, huh? Yeah, you might even die. Oh. You know what? The, the one time in your life when you lose the most weight is when you're dead because it all disintegrates off of your body. So if you really want to lose weight, just go ahead and die. Crawl into your grave right now. You'll be skinny as a skeleton in no time. Skinny as a skeleton? Who cares about weight? Water and weight. Don't get me started. Get on there. Last, last set of pull-ups in this round. Let's do it. I'm not even going to show you what these look like because these are for you. You got to get your chin above the bar any way you can. All right? Get your chin above the bar 10 times any way you can. We call these Hugglies, Fugglies, Fugly pull ups. <laughs> Cross Fugly pull ups. Can I do chin ups? No, pull ups. Pull ups. Pull ups. Get my chin above. Just get your chin above the bar 10 times. Fast as you can, but your chin has to be above the bar 10 times. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Come on. Do it. Two. Straighten your arms. Three. Come on. Four. Good. Come on. Five. Good. Six. Yes. Seven. Chin above the bar. Eight. Chin above the bar every time. Nine. Ten. What? Where did that come from? You've been holding out on me. I knew you could do it. He's the man. My dad is the strongest man I have ever known. My goodness. 
That was amazing. Woo! Whoa. My goodness. All right. You ready? For what? You get a 10 second break and then we're going to do Jack in the Box knee touch. Ha ha ha. Here we go. This is what they look like. We come down. We come up. We come down. We come up. That's ridiculous. All right. Why is that ridiculous? Down and up. You know, I'm not even going to ask him to do these. What I'm going to ask him to do is down, come up. Down, come up. Okay? Do that because I don't want you to hurt your back. I've hurt my back on these before. This is a really one, easy one to injure yourself. Get all the way down. There you go. Come up. Really, like, snap it up. There you go. Down and up. Okay, 20. Come on. One. Go. Faster. Two. Faster. Three. Feet are parallel like they're on skis. Four. Come on. Five. I'm bringing that up. Hands up. Go. Boom. Boom. Come on. Down. Ten. Nine. Hands come up. Eight. Get your hands up. Get your hands up at the bottom. Sink down. Sink down with your hands up. Sink down with your hands up. Ah, there you go. No more cheating here. Chest is up. Head is back when you go down. Head is back when you go down. Chest is up and head is back every time you go down. Come on. Yep. Boom. Three more. Two more. One more. Last one. Boom. Halfway. Get some water. How'd you like those? How'd you like those? It's okay. Those aren't so bad, right? No sitting okay. down. Stand up. Walk it off. Get some water. Stand up and walk it off. Towel off. Drink your water. Keep moving. Keep moving. You stop, you die. It's all over. Never quit. Never quit. Never quit. Never quit. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> hey, it's good enough for Ellen. It's good enough for me. Let's go. Ready? Breathing. Deep breath. Shake it out. Shake it out. Give us a little dynamic stretching. Come on, Pop. A little dynamic stretching. Shake out those shoulders. Come on, shake out those shoulders. Ooh, you know what I love? You know what I love? Hi. These. You get down here, and we just make big circles with our arms. Just let that shoulder relax. Let it just fall out into your shoulder socket. Go the other way. Mm-hmm. How's that feel? You okay. like that one? Okay, other side. Come on. Just really feel that shoulder, oh, joint, relax. Mm. Okay, other way, come on. Whew. Mm. Now, just like an elephant, come on up. Shake those shoulders. Your Gumby, oh my goodness, it feels so good. Feels so good to feel good. Here we go, ready? Pull-ups. What? Pull-ups. We'll get another round. Oh. He's like, no, don't make me do it. And I won't, I won't. Come on, I think you've had enough for today. Guess what? What? You did something like 50 pull-ups. No. What, you didn't? I don't think so. Yeah, you did. What are we doing? We did five different sets of pull-ups and you did like 50. Okay. Okay? <sighs> All right, so we're gonna do a little PNF stretching. So what I want you to start with is palm the ball, okay? Put it right under your hand. Yeah, put it, push it down that. Uh, well, here, I'll move up a little bit. Okay, palm the ball. Hey, yeah. straight out to the side. Oh, like yeah. that. Yeah, look at me. Now, okay, push down it. on it. Push okay. down on it. Okay. Push down. Push as hard as you can. Push okay. down that ball. Okay. Push that ball down through the floor as hard as you can. Four, three, two, one. Now just drop it down. Mm, two, three, four, five. Now come back up. Palm that ball and push it down. Five. Push it down. Four. Push. Three. Really push two, one. Now, stretch down. Move that ball up two inches. Up two inches? Up towards your head two inches. There you go. Does that change it? Yes. Yeah. All right. Other side. Switch sides. Ready? You know what to do now. Straight arm. Straight out from your body. Hey, straight out from your body. There you go. Palm it. Push it down. Five. Push harder. Four. Three. Two. One. Now drop down. Mmm. Couple of breaths, come up, push down. One, two, three. Really push it down. Four, five. Now just drop it down. 
Bring it out in front of you. Bring it out in front of you. Palms like you're karate chopping the ball. Out in front of you. Push down. One, two, three, four, five. Now drop your head between your arms. A couple of breaths. Come up. Push. One, two. Push harder. Three. Get it on your hands, not your forearms. Your hands. Now drop down. Drop between your arms. Come on. Relax it now. Everything relaxes now. You, so you push for five seconds, and then you completely relax for five seconds and drop. Relax. Release. <sighs> Exhale. Release. Okay, do it one more time. Push. One, two. Push hard. Three. With your lats. Four, five. Now drop it down. Just relax it. Okay, good. Now, <sighs> we're just going to come out to the side again. Come out to the side. Come out to the side. Now you're going to palm up. Palm up. No, 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 no. Put your hand on the ball. Hand on the ball and then flex your hand. Relax your hand. Palm the ball. Palm the ball. Flex your hand. Palm the ball. Flex your hand. Slowly. Palm the ball. And dropping your shoulder down the whole time. Opening up your chest. Relaxing your upper back. <sighs> Breathing. Other side. Doesn't this feel good? Working those forearms. Got it? Palm the ball. Palm the ball. Oh my goodness. We love this. We, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, sit on your ball. Put your feet out in front of you. Heels up, feet wide. Legs straight, perfectly straight. Sit on the front of your ball so you can get your feet out straight. So roll back so you're not messing with this mat. You're going to fall on your butt. All right. All right, now just flat back, hinge at the waist, push your tummy forward while holding your chest and shoulders back. You feel that stretch in your hamstrings? Yeah. You stretching? I think so. Bring your heels or your toes back towards your, yeah, and then lean your chest forward, lean forward more, more, more. No, hinge at your waist. Keep your chest up, hinge at your waist. All right. Walk over to your right side. Put both hands on your knee. Push that heel down away from you. Oh, toe comes up towards your head. Other side. Doesn't this feel good? Feels good. It's kind of a relaxing little stretch, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Mm. Why am I sweating? Because <laughs> you sweat when you stretch for some reason. All right, we're going to stand up. Stand up. We're going to just... Put our hand out, grab some air, oh. stretch out that quad. Just grab that little oh. kid that's right in front of you and just grab his head. Yeah. Come on. And if you need a real thing. <laughs> what oh. you need is that hip cramps right there when Does it? I do it on that side. Okay, other side. Here we go. Your hip cramps. Yeah. All right, when you go home, your homework then is to foam roll your hip. If you have something that's cramping up during a workout, go ahead, foam roll it. Put that knee next to your other knee and get that heel up to your buttocks. While well, you are tight, tight, grab your toes. Grab your toe. It's going to work it better. All right, good. Ah! Now, roll, it, roll out your ankles. Just roll them out. Uh, if you get a lot of cramps in your hips or your knees or your calves, what I want you to do is every morning when you get up, switch sides, every morning when you get up, just write the alphabet with your foot. You know, A, B, C, D, E, F. <laughs> I don't know how to make an F with my foot. G, H. Right? So write the alphabet with each foot every day when you get out of bed, and the cramping in your legs will subside significantly. 
<sighs> That's it for us. I hope you feel great. If you feel like you need to do a little more foam rolling after that, you feel free to do that. That's yours to keep. That's a free gift from me to you, the concept of foam rolling. I hope you. you love it. Do you love it? I love it. Yeah? I love it. Tell me, what's going on today? How, how's your uh, rest of your day looking? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to get some work yeah. done or just relax today? Yeah, no, I'm going to get some work done probably. Really? Yeah? Yeah. Drive the bobcat around yeah. a little bit, move Might some do dirt. That. Spread some dirt. Thinking about uh, laying out a fence line. Oh, fence line. Hey, if you can keep your body in shape, then you can continue to do crazy things like building a fence into your 60s, late 60s. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. You know this is uh, my birthday month. This is. You're going to have a kid who's uh, July 20th. 37 years old. I have a kid that's 39. Yeah, well, you're going to have a kid that's 37. 37. Your wow. youngest is going to be 37. Wow. That's and my old. My oldest granddaughter is her last single digit. Yeah, she's going to be nine this year. My baby. My little baby's growing up. Hey, for Shrink My Folks, I'm your trainer, David Norton. Shrinking my pop. His name's Mike. Like us. We're shrinking. <laughs> Subscribe. If you've already subscribed, give us a thumbs up on this video. We'll see you next time.